Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. I am Alina Malik bin Malik Intias Ali from SMQ Uncle Aziz, number 6041. I have always been the curious type. So when I came across this book in the public library, I immediately knew I had to read it. Ban this book is the title. Ban means don't. But me being me, I grabbed this book and started reading the moment I got home. This middle grade novel gave me what some may say a book hangover. I kept thinking about how brave this young girl is and have I the same courage as she has. <laughs> ben, this book is fast-paced and interesting, powerful, gripping, and a brilliant novel about a shy girl's quest to get her favorite book and ban from her school library. The author, Ellen Grabs, in this 255-page novel has taken on a big and important issue, which is you are never too young to fight censorship. Yes, never too young to stand up for what is unjust. I was engrossed in this skillfully written book with vivid descriptions that sent me straight to the principal's office, library, the characters' homes, and many other places. Amy Ann Olinger, the main character, my current heroine, is a bookworm and a library lover. But when the school board bans her favorite book, Amy Ann starts to question why someone else gets to decide why she shouldn't read certain books. When Amy Ann discovers more books are being banned for being too rude or encouraging bad behavior, or being too scary. She sets out to find and read every banned book she can find. What baffles me is the books that are banned are actually good books and one has been made into a movie. Matilda by Roald Dahl being banned is so uncalled for. What more all the goosebump books by R.L. Stein? No doubt some of these books deal with sensitive issues like religion and sexuality. But when you are strongly rooted in your beliefs, these issues should never bother you. In fact, they create awareness in you. Ban these books give you a powerful gift to be able to critically analyze the difference between right and wrong and decide for yourself which side you want to be on. It opens eyes and makes you think and question, so you become a strong and independent thinker. When Amy N created Banned Books Local Library, other students want in, thus making Amy N the secret librarian and school champion of everyone's right to read what they want. This book is an amazing read for teens and adults too. It teaches us to fight for our rights and also tells us what, that we should always use the right way to fight. The language used in this book is great. Plus, it's very fun to read how the people are described, their size, color, and look. The way Amy Ann talks about her friends and their conversations had me hoping this book will be made into a movie. All the feelings are included. For example, the emotional part was when Amy Ann was leaving her house. The exciting part was when all the students came to the washroom with stacks of books in their hands to fill out the request for reconsideration forms and the scary feeling whenever she meets a principal, Principal Badashki. Teamwork is really evident here when more and more of Amy Ann's friends too, stood alongside with to fight back. As the saying goes, many hands make light work. The characters are beautifully crafted and they feel real and very relatable. My favorite character has to be Amy Ann Olinger. She is determined, resilient, and basically an inspirational character. Then there's Rebecca Zimmerman, the second main character, Amy's bestie, who wants to be a lawyer. Throughout the story, she helps Amy with all her fights for the banned books. In the end, her character shines through. There's also Danny, a lover of his own hair and other interesting characters too. My favorite part of this story is when they attend the board meeting to talk about banned books. The way Rebecca talks about law to everyone includes the Mr. Chairman and the way the students set their time to Emmy and to talk is such an inspiring moment. The way Emmy fights for her favorite book and all the other uh, books which were banned from this elementary school library was fun and exciting. From this book, we can get to know that nobody else than our parents can tell us what we can and what we can't read, as parents should have a role in guiding and sometimes limiting their kids' selection of books. Indeed, this book teaches us that we are never too young to fight for our rights. The empowering messages are clear in this gripping and highly entertaining story. Read this book and you will be amazed at what a simple book like this can do. Title, read this book. Author, Alan Gretz. Go and read it. Thank you.